Okay. 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 Hold on, I'm just getting rolling. What's your name? Steve. Oh yeah, I wanted to say Stefan. Everybody does. It's the PH thing, man. Yeah, my mom kind of cursed me. She spelled it wrong. Well, besides <laughs> that, every every, <laughs> yeah. every every single time I go into a new classroom, I see a new person. Hey, Stephanie. Okay. Come on now. Steven, I got it. It gets annoying. Okay. Uh, everybody's here? Is there more than eight? No, there's eight. Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to go over the Constitution. Don't worry about the camera in my class. This is, you're the only other group besides BCOT is to do it. Whoops, hold on. I don't know. Excuse me, Mr. Peterson. Peterson. Do you still have yours for real? That's cool. What? Mr. Peterson, I have a question about the three-fifths compromise. Uh, let's go into that tomorrow. Yes, sir. Really? With the voice. Oh, you have one. You want to do one? Okay. What is this? This is an official, not official, unofficial transcript of the entire Constitution. Okay. Let me get one more together real quick for you. Yes. Does anybody need a test? Okay, just keep looking at her on the way out. Don't look back at the camera. I have to film a lesson. Their faces can't go on. Yes. Okay. Okay. They'll be back quickly. Okay. Here, just keep that page down for a second. Thank you. Keep that page down for a second. Keep that page down for a second. Where's my name? That page down for a second. Hey, <laughs> who's ready to have this memorized by Monday? Memorized by Monday? Whoa. There's not that much to it. Whoa! There's only 12 pages. What? I'm just kidding. We're not obviously getting memorized. <laughs> <laughs> What were you raising your hand for? What do you got? Um, so this is a transcription of the Constitution of the United States? Yes. Okay. So it also have the amendments in it too, though? Huh? It got the amendments in it too, It's though? got everything in it. It's the full Constitution, okay? Okay. Um, constitution. It states here in the dictionary, as a body of fundamental principles or established precedents according to which a state or any other organization is acknowledged to be governed. Okay? So each state has their own constitution. This is the national constitution. So if Nevada writes a law, it's got to be applied, like work with in, in appliance with this. Clark County writes its own laws, it's got to be constitutional. Okay? Um, we can argue through our teeth about guns and everything else, even though it's in the Constitution. Because yeah. they they were written to be bold statements like, you have the right to bear arms without a doubt, okay? Yeah. Shall not be infringed is what it says. But people have been able to manipulate, manipulate it a little bit, okay? Because so we were just... Specific. Um, we have talked about the Bill of Rights. That's what he was worried about, is if we were replaying it from earlier on. This is, we're just going to go through different sections. We'll ignore the first ten, not ignore them, but we won't really cover the first ten amendments because we've already gone way into that, you know. Um, we will start with the preamble again because that's what it starts with. And we will um, discuss it again, the preamble. That's that uh, first little paragraph. Um, Earlier we had Bee Cottage here, and when we started with We the People and started reading it, one of the kids from Bee Cottage says, this document should say We the Government, because he felt like we are not the people, the government controls everything. Yeah. And his arguments were actually pretty valid, because 
the government is interpreting law, which they're supposed to do, okay? And we do vote on laws when we just voted for, uh, voted for Nevada midterm elections for senators and stuff. We had three laws in there that we could vote. Um, but he was so enthralled in anti-government. He was like saying everything's wiretapped, which there's stuff that's wiretapped, okay? So we started talking about they wanted another test site, Area 51, and we started talking about that. And the more we started talking about it, they're getting antsy about not talking about government stuff because we could be getting tapped, you know? Yeah. And as we were talking about it, there was this one that was way nervous, and that sonic boom from that jet went over <laughs> and shook that wall, and he's four feet out of his desk, just <laughs> terrified that a Hummer just rolled up on him. <laughs> So then we looked out the window and said, man, it's a big crater out here. And he was ready. He's like, dude, I was ready to code for it. Take out the Nah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll just start by the um, interpretation of the preamble. Uh, actually, real quick side note, because I brought up a picture I just thought on my computer. Do um, you guys know what that noise is from? The plane? Break sound very I know, but have you ever seen a picture of what it looks like? Yeah, yeah it's just pretty, it looks pretty No, I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one. Yeah, let me turn this blank I thing off. Real life. Yeah, but you don't get to actually see this like this in real life. Can you ever see some slides over? That's why I look at some of my blanks. Let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going It looks like this. It's got like a sonic cone around the plane. Okay, the speed of sound is, I think, 776 miles an hour. So we had to go faster than that to actually break through the sonic cone, and it puts that weird hyper cone over your plane. And then as it tears through it, you get that rattle that rattled our whole school, because he's actually going faster than the sound can move. I don't know. Cool little side story that has nothing to do with the Constitution. So, so some yeah. Here aren't going that fast. Um, sorry, this is gonna be real quick. Can he actually see that cone in the fire pilot? Can he actually see the cone while he's born? I doubt it. And I doubt he barely feels it. He might feel just like a little. What if he had a rear view mirror? Did you see it? What? What if he had like something like like a mirror to look back? Probably. If he's got no mirrors to look back. Okay. But well, the police might. That's, just a, little, that's just a little side story because we scared the. Scared the, yeah, out of B College. Okay. And I took roll, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this back on blank. Okay. We the people of the United States. Who does that count for? Everybody. The white people. What about women? You mean white men? They're not people. Yeah, back. Well, when it was written, it wasn't women, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't right. white men. Okay. But only some white men had that because some you had own land, you had to have money, yeah, okay. Yeah. It was early really nineteen hundreds. But huh? got rights though, wasn't it? Early no. 1900s? no. About me, yeah, me yeah, nineteen hundreds. No. Um, yeah, during women's suffrage? Women's suffrage? Yeah, it was about like the mid nineteen hundreds. Nineteen twenty five, I think it was. So yeah, really so that was in the nineteen hundreds, but um the original draft of the constitution was in seventeen eighty seven. No, we're talking oh. about when women got the right to say vote, equality amongst yeah, people. Yeah, vote and uh, equality in the workplace. Hold on. Talk to me and was great. Let's go to, let me sort one of these others out real quick. Elliot went to wealthy, white, rich. Mm -hmm. Give me two seconds. I had so many of these copied out. Okay. Go to, let's see here. Oh, that's too high to move it. One second. Give me a second. Are you talking about Amendment 15, Section 1? The right of citizens of the United States to vote should not be denied or abridged by the United States. No, that's on account of race, color, and previous conditions of servitude. You know, that's the amendment that allowed blacks to vote. Um, okay. 
And right, for whatever reason, I'm having a terrible brain fart on all of this, okay? Um, oh, I was thinking it was 13th. 13th was slavery. I was way off. 19th, okay? So the second to last page on the back. Oh, yeah, right here. Um, 1920 was when it was ratified for women to vote. Okay? So, what's actually interesting by that is if you have to make law and have to make sure it works with the Constitution, the Constitution starts with the people of the United States. Not we the rich white people or we the slaves at that time. It's we the people. Everybody okay? So it is everybody. Um, in order to form a more perfect union. What's a union? A team game. Team game. That's a union. What would you say? A group. A group, a group of people uh, working together for a, a marriage for a common good. A marriage is considered a union. Or a man or a woman get married. That is true. Go or a man and a woman and a woman. Okay. There's different variables to marriage. We know that. Okay. But they go into a union. Work together. They know what they need to do. They, you know what I mean? A, union, a perfect union, it all will just work perfectly, okay? Um, established justice. We all know what the justice system is, okay? And then it says ensure domestic tranquility. What's tranquility? Any ideas? A peace. Yeah. Quiet man. No? Anybody? Tranquility? Like peace. Peace, okay? The definition is like, it says calm. Yeah. Calm and peace work together. Um, a constant calm, I think is what it says. Okay. Um, after that, it should be provide for the common defense. Okay. What's providing for the common defense? National Guard uh, is an example of common defense. Okay. All military funding, Marines. Um, oh, no. There was a kid in no Elkosh. No I was on the other side. Jose was determined to join the army. Anybody want to be a military guy out there? No? I want to. See, I, I thought of it, but I don't want to anymore. Why? Navy SEAL or Air Force? Uh, that would be sweet. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just too tired now. And it's just not It's just not inside of inside of, It's not one of my goals anymore. I got a different goal that I'm pursuing to try to achieve. Cool. You do want to? Yeah. What made you want to? I don't know, because I, I understand the military. Okay. And you said Air Force or what? Navy SEALs, complete opposites. But uh, because my older brother was in the military and he kind of... I wouldn't say inspired me, kind of like messed it up for himself. You know, he uh, uh, went AWOL on one, of his on one of his visits and I was like, all right, I'm about to show him up, basically. And I got respect for it, you know. Well, you have a spider in your name? Hey, you do. Kill me. You can't touch spiders. Have you seen my window? It's full of cobwebs. Everybody's going to be full of cobwebs. Yeah, maybe not right there, but over in that corner. They're going to spray for them, but I don't know where that one came from. Okay. Um, all right. Promote the general welfare. What does it mean? Money. Not necessarily. Okay. Let's uh, bring Make up the, it good for everybody. Let's bring the actual, that's closer. Let's bring up the actual definition. Okay. Welfare, the health, happiness, and fortunes of a person or group. And the second definition is a statutory procedure or social effort designed to promote the basic physical and material well-being of people in need. Okay. So to promote the general welfare is if us six have a ton of money, Terry doesn't, we don't just leave him hanging. He's got to have something where he can feed himself, his family, whatever, okay? The issue with the welfare system is it's free money. Today it's free money. No one sees it. Okay? And it's not a bad thing. I'm not trashing the system at all. Well, I guess I'm going to trash the system a little bit. 
but not the actual benefits that are there. They are there for a good purpose. Um, through the CPU. Um, Medicaid, I've been on it. I mean, pro probably, are you guys all have had Medicaid? Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. I've been on it. I've had, I forget what the benefits are called. I've had the food benefits card for a while. Food food stamps. Stamps. When I was broke, food stamps, okay. But the issue it makes is kind of like the story from a while ago where my friend of mine got that $6 an hour raise. Remember, but it put him in a different tax bracket. Oh, so he actually lost more money. Yeah. Um, what I was telling people earlier is if, let's just do Terry and Tamaya. So I'm going to put two T's down. Okay? This is obviously low income. We don't need to talk about it not being enough or whatever. I'm just this hypothetical, right? You guys each work 20 hours a week, so part, -time. part time, and you each get $1,000. Okay? $1,000 a month, let's just say that. So it's, it's low income. Okay? You both have a lady taking care of your kid, kids at home, so they got to feed yourself, whatever. So the government comes and gives you $625 a month. Well, let's do $725, because with kids and stuff, Nevada, we're going to do $720. That's still not a lot, you're right. So really, you don't need to buy food with your $1,000 anymore. You now have almost a little over $1,700 a month to live off of. But Terry is outperforming you. Like he says he does on the volleyball court. Does that happen? <laughs> and the basketball court. He's still pretty. Um, outperforms them. They move Terry up to... 40 hours a week, okay? They up his pay, so now he's making 2,000, but the government says you're not making enough to feed yourself and your family, so they wipe that off, okay? Mm. So, he's not really much much, but. He, I know it's not that much. I said this is hypothetical, low money stuff. Nice sneak game, they can't be facing. Did you pass? No. Uh you -huh. didn't pass? No, I didn't. Oh, okay, good. Um, so now, Tamias is still getting $1,725 a month. He's only gone 20 hours a week. No, you guys aren't hustling right now. That's all the money you're getting. I don't want to hear, oh, you make more than that hustling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's now home 20 additional hours, hanging out with his kid. And, all your, your and he's only making $275 less. You're working all week. You're essentially doing that for $275 more. Is that worth it, or would you rather just work 20 hours and take the small pay cut? You what would you do? Me. I mean, I'd still rather take $2,000, though. Okay, but you're working a lot more, almost twice. I'm glad you said that, okay? Any, anybody would just take the easy way out. I would. You I would? I would keep it real. Because why work that additional... 20 hours, so if you break it up, you feel me? He works 20 more hours than I do, but and he makes 20 to 75 dollars more, so that means he makes what two? So he's only working two dollars and 75 cents for every hour that I don't work more than what I'm doing, making you feel me? You know okay. what I'm saying? So okay. two and seven, two dollars and 75 cents ain't really nothing. Well, and I could just stay home, kick with the girl for an hour while he's working, so I'll rather take that. Okay. On the, I would take the okay. 40 hours because either way it go, like if I'm working there, I obviously like the job, so it wouldn't be right. that much of a big deal to show up for for an extra 20 hours okay. to make uh, okay. extra thousand. So there's a few deal. pros to both sides. I'm seeing where he's coming from. I know what you guys are saying. Okay? Now, this is kind of a dig into the history a little bit. What's the most you guys have hustled in a week? Give me a number. 18. In a, week, in a week. In a week. In a week. We got to have like seven hundred dollars in a week. Does that include him? I'm, I'm saying, however you're getting money on the street. I don't even know what that means. Robin <laughs> House. Okay. How? Okay. Well, Robin House. Is that, is that what hitting licks means? Yeah. See, but yeah, hitting licks. You get some money. How much cash could you guys get in a week? However you done, what's the highest you ever got? You said seven hundred. If you're talking about robbery, you're not even gonna finish the whole the whole seven days. Just going around robbing, you're gonna be in jail before the three days. Okay. No. I mean, what's the most you guys have seen come in? The most I've well, 
Eight hundred. You said eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you can easily get three to six every night. Okay. You know. Okay. Let's go with eighteen hundred. But that's right? if you. So Tobias is skipping seventeen twenty-five. Okay. And then I almost forgot your name. Ryan is getting eighteen hundred. It's stolen iPhones, jewelry, and cash. Okay. Your money from Quickie Shop A and Quickie Shop B or whatever is all taxed. Mm -hmm. Government knows. Government knows he's making twenty-four thousand a year. Government thinks you're making twelve thousand a year, so you're getting. You know what I mean? Ryan. Tax free. Plus he gets the same twenty. Government sees zero dollars. He says, I'm unemployed, I don't have a job. Living I got fired from Best Buy, you might even get unemployment benefits, okay? He's making 1800 a week. A good week, I guess. He said that's the highest, okay? But the government sees he's making zero dollars. So now, he's getting food benefits, okay? Probably getting financial assistance to pay the electric bill and the water bill. Who, who knows how much, probably let's say 500 Okay, he's got a decent living job. I mean, he's making school teachers look like crud, and he's doing that in a week. You know what I mean? Okay, but he's also getting stacked with extra benefits. So when this is written to promote the general welfare, it's to help out the two that are truthfully struggling to feed their their kids. And even though some of you said you would take the 40 hours because you like the job, I think as a whole, our whole country is kind of just saying, why do I want to work double for a little bit of a raise when I can sit at home with my kid or my new Xbox, make money by not working? Well, me personally, I don't plan on having kids. Okay. So if that's five days a week you work, you get the weekends off, that would be you know. Okay. Well, thing. okay, so you're making four, uh, two thousand dollars what every two weeks to a month. Okay, I I think I'd rather do that too because I mean if I'm if I'm buying myself like what a hundred dollars in groceries if it's just me and like say uh, my girl or whatever that'd probably be one to two hundred dollars in groceries. Everything else with the light, electric, uh, you know, water that, that's probably another three hundred dollars. That's five hundred dollars on rent. So. There's not too many nice places though in Vegas to rent for five hundred dollars. Well, yeah, huh? It depends on where you're looking at. Right? right? Yeah, because it's a, it's a. We gotta talk about the east side now. No, it's no, a I'm spot. It's a spot on on Lone Ground really? and uh in in Rancho. It's right. It's right behind the fire station. They some they're nice apartments and they charge two fifty a month for rent and they're some really nice apartments. Right, right on Lone Mountain and uh, Rancho, behind the fire station, right. across the street from the Santa Fe, the Santa Fe, the movie theater, the little casino, <laughs> all that. that. It's a nice little area. When I, when I get when I get another job, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Okay, hold on. Is that one second? I'll give you. Is that just normal? I can walk in and rent it for two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Or do they do the how much money are you Section eight. Well, no. There's there's Section eight housing. And then there's not for apartments. The, then there's, there's government assisted apartments. Oh. Okay. And there's government assisted apartments. When I was in college and married, they said, "Show us how much you're making." They put us in. They were nice two bedroom, two bathroom apartments. Yeah. But instead of paying six fifty a month, I was paying three twenty five because they saw the last year's annual salary or whatever. And yeah. it's you it's talking not, about how they be going off income and stuff. Yeah, that, and that's the only way I would really see one getting that low. Yeah. But maybe not. I don't know. I've never seen. No, that's that probably like a special or something. You know how they got a two fifty movie and special or something. Like that. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's only one free month. Movie. You got that's three months at two fifty, then it jumps. Okay, what were you gonna say? That's also yeah. like, and most of the apartments that I've been to, yeah, sure, the outside will be all crummy, but the inside is usually pretty nice. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. Okay, but the outside being crummy, you gotta walk outside and take cover in case you get. Hey, <laughs> you walk out walk out you gotta park walk my car right right on, on the street. On, what? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm not saying robbed. I'm saying stray bullets. I've seen some of those apartment complexes. Yeah, I, I have too. But still, you can walk down the street, not your head down. You walk. 
<laughs> See me, I'm not tripping because I live that type of lifestyle, so I could go and I can give me, right. I can give me a car in that area. It really would really matter. I'll still be protected. I wouldn't have to worry about it. Man. Right. And then, one, and, then, and then once I once I got enough money set up, I'll move to a different area. If it was really that bad. Okay. I just can't get it. Okay. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to you about, like the promoting the general welfare. I mean, people I know, I've had family members that just rely on the system. Yeah. You rely on the system, you can get by. No, why my uncle, he, he, he used to work for Marriott. He used to do like timeshare and stuff. He worked there for like five years or whatever. But then, you know, 2008 happened and nobody was going to buy timeshare because you don't need it. You really don't need it. It's like a luxury thing, you feel me? And he went without work for three months. Unemployment, had a nice car, a nice apartment. He didn't, he didn't even try to look for work. He kept it real with me. He was like, he didn't even have to wait for three years. I, I want to break when I got paid. And all that, so um, I want to hurry and move on, but I'll say one more last thing. There was a couple, I think, I think I've told you the story. A couple that lived in Oregon, had a nice company, company was going under, so they started selling some of their company, turned it all into cash before it went bankrupt. <coughs> had a fat mansion, two BMWs, lost their business, applied for um, benefits and Medicaid, Medicare. Um, using accounts that didn't have much money in, but they had other accounts with stacks of cash, right? So they were getting over a thousand, almost two thousand dollars, I think, in health and financial benefits on the cards that they were using for like three or four years while they lived in a mansion, drove BMWs, had money still on the side for gas and other stuff, until finally they got busted, their house was raided, they all got prison time because they were stealing tax dollars. See, that's why I plan on going to the Army too, though. They get nice pay. They get two different types of pay. You get an allowance for when you go on your weekends, and you get paid when you're on the... Uh, yeah, they got some pretty good benefits, too. Well, so you uh, get shot, and then they don't want to... And, 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 and then, then you get paid while you're on the uh, site or something. Well, I'm real. I love you government comments. No, but, <laughs> and, and, you know, there's so, very rarely okay. anybody that actually goes on the front lines. I mean, you know how many... Yeah, that's true. Jobs that's there are. pretty small. Okay, we'll move on, though, okay? Um, and secure your blessings of liberty. What's liberty, Terry? Liberty, basically, like, you know, freedom or something like that. Freedom, money, good job. Okay? And show the blessings of freedom to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Anybody know what ordain means? No. It's a church like, term, so, sometimes. Basically, like our house or something like that? Like, no, it's uh, ordain basically... Given the entitle, entitlement, when they ordain people in different ministries or whatever, they do like a passing down of powers. Okay, it's basically promising us, promising all those benefits that it just went through. Um, and then it goes into Article One. Okay, what's Article One, Section One? They say all liberties, power, inherent, and granted shall be vested in Congress of the United States, which shall consist of Senate and House of Representatives. Okay. We've gone over that many times. The powers to write law is vested in Congress. Um, the Senate, the House of Representatives, we beat that like a dead horse. Right. Um, but that's funny that that's actually how it starts in the Constitution. Yet, right now, we talked about the whole immigration thing. The he, Dream Act. Is well, President Obama right now is... Is he re Is he... Uh, he has not yet, but right now all, all the talk is he's going to use executive power, meaning he's just going to choose to do a law even though all the legislative powers right at the top of the Constitution say it's got to go through Congress. Okay, um, the first two lines of Section 2, Greer. What page? The front page. No, oh, that's the back page. That one, come on. The first two lines of section two? Yeah. All right. The House of Representatives, of Representatives shall be composed of members chosen every second year by the people of several states. And the